Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Wednesday to you and wanted to show you some amazing pictures that came in to us. Michael Smoker, who uh, has a drone, uh, took his drone up and got some amazing pictures of downtown Jamestown of some of the snow covered roofs. And this was after we got done with our snowstorm that we went through over the past few days. These are amazing pictures. And of course, drone photography is, I think, changing the way we look at things. It is fantastic. And of course, if you have any pictures or videos of the weather, whether they'd be drone shots or just normal shots with your phone, whatever they may be, send it to us on Facebook, on, on the uh, First Defense weather page, uh, Hunters WX on Twitter, and always use that hashtag, MyLocalWX. And talking about the snow, yeah, we added about an inch or two of uh, snow over the past 24 hours, 11 inches of snow on the ground at the airport. So far this month, 20.9, we're running about two inches above normal, but look at where we're at for the season, 49.8, the average for this date, 49.8 so we're right at average for the season and uh, I think we're going to get some more snow here as we go through at least the next few days but I uh, wanted to mention the Lake Erie ice coverage this is the NASA modest satellite and uh, this uh, particular satellite gives us a really good view of the ice coverage on the Great Lakes and you might be asking, well, where is the ice? It's right here. The western end of the lake is pretty much where the ice is really concentrated right now. The total ice coverage on Lake Erie is 19%. The rest of what you see here is wide open water, and we're ultimately going to see more in the way of some lake effect, but I do think we are gonna add some more ice onto this as we go through the next couple of days as colder air surges on in. But first things first, we'll take you through future scan to show you, yeah, there might be a few mixed rain and snow showers through the afternoon, now. But as a cold front pushes through, our wind direction will shift back to the west northwest. So that'll bring us again a chance for more uh, lake effect snow showers as we go uh, through the nighttime hours. Tomorrow, maybe a few little lights, uh, scattered light to lake effect snow showers, but it turns much colder tomorrow. Again, notice the wind direction shifting back mainly to a northern wind flow. So that'll really bring in that colder air from Canada. But we should start to quiet down a little bit as we go into the first half of the weekend. Now, talking about the uh, wind chill temperatures, this is really going to become, I think, the bigger factor over the next 24 to 48 hours. Don't uh, don't uh, look at the timestamp up here. It's actually incorrect, but this is the correct model run going all the way through today. So the wind chill for Wednesday, not too bad, but notice where the wind chill goes as we go into Thursday morning. Yeah, we'll likely be sub zero to uh, start the day tomorrow, and uh, some spots will likely get close to the negative double digits. We'll stay in the negative numbers through the day on Thursday, but then by the time we go into Friday morning, this is where I think some of the more extreme wind chill numbers will be by Friday morning. We're already getting close to that 15 below zero to that 15 below zero uh, threshold for the wind chill advisory. And even though we don't have a wind chill advisory issued as of the time we're doing this video, there likely will be one issued this afternoon or tonight. We'll keep you updated on that when the weather service does issue that, but it should be coming hopefully uh, today and tonight because these numbers will be close to that wind chill advisory criteria and we will likely have it by the time we go into tonight. So as we go through today, temperatures are ultimately going to be kind of in the upper 30s to around the lower 40s with a few scattered snow showers at times. It turns much colder tonight. There it is, 33 to 42 tonight. The computer finally caught up with me. Uh, turns windy through the day, 15 to 30 miles an hour. As we go into tonight, it'll turn much colder, 7 to 15, mostly cloudy, scattered lake effect snow showers. We'll add about 1 to 2 inches of that. Uh, the uh, ultimate uh, satellite solution, 7 day, 15 tomorrow, wind chills through the day three below to 10 below, likely through the day as the wind still kind of goes up. We go, we start Friday one below zero. We should only make it to 10. Some spots will likely stay in the single digits all day, four below to start Saturday. So again, do think a wind chill advisory might be for tonight, but I do think there will be one definitely for Friday night going into Saturday. And uh, you'll see we kind of stay quiet Friday and Saturday. Then we see a chance for more snow showers returning as we go into the second half of the weekend into early next week.